Hello, welcome back to Comic Book Cheats, making comics the easy way. So today we're going to go over Poser and how you use Poser to make your own comic. Very easy. Not only can you use Poser to make a comic, you can also um, you can use it to illustrate. You can use it to for perspectives. Just about anything, any assistance you need in making comics, you will be able to do with Poser. So it's very simple. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this model here find us another model I usually like to use James or Ryan let's see Let me get James G2 I like the G2 James okay the G2's are high res models uh, I do believe they come with poser when you get them and the new version I think it's 11.2 There's also a G2 Roxy and two other G2s that come with Poser. So, let's see if we can find them right here. It may take a few minutes. My computer's being kind of slow this morning. Okay, there we go. We have James. Let's find a pose for him. You go right here. Go to pose. And the cool thing about Poser is if you're into comic books, especially superheroes, it's geared with, toward that direction. There's tons of stuff you'll find here. So look at all these really cool comic book poses. And if you don't use the program to make comics, you can also just use it as an existence for your comics in terms of like you can take um, and make lots of reference photos with this stuff so let's find a really cool pose here we go we'll use this that looked pretty cool so all you do to do your comic book effect is you go right here and click to get your outline your ink outline and this and there you go and you're ready to start making comics this looks pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Let's see what his face looks like. You can also go back here and use this threshold thing to set how much uh, you want on there in terms of black. That looks pretty good, but you can still see some um, gray pixel uh, gray pixels here. It's basically polygons which look weird what you can do to fix that if you don't want to have that is go and the ink's a little too thick too let's go there we go now you can see it a little bit more defined okay let's get off of that and look at our lighting here one of the things I like to use I think it makes it look better and it takes away that uh, gray pixel look is you can go to this right here find a new light let's see lights twilight that's the best one for making uh, comic books so go here what I like to do once I get twilight is I add a light to it I go right here and then I use this to make it completely dark I want completely black because you want that shadow and then I add another light and what you do is you keep it and then you go to light properties and once you go to light properties then you hit infinity ray trace and it gives you just what you need because see how you can get that light and then you can take this dark get it to come over now when we go back here turn this on see most of those pixels are gone now and it's real cool because you can do all kinds of stuff with this okay did I not turn the ink on I don't think I did okay there we go keep it real thin look at there now once you have your character set up in whatever uh, mode you want them to be set in, 
you just go up here. Um, rendering is very easy with uh, this mode because you don't really have to do much and you don't even have to wait on your computer very much. Just go to alias document, render it, and there you go, you have a clean cut picture. Um, very easy to throw into Photoshop and start coloring right away. No ink required, no nothing. You just go, go straight into it. And that's about it for this uh, lesson. Um, and that's about it for this one. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have.